Do you get lost occasionally while playing the harmonica? You think you're playing one hole and you're actually on another hole? Today we're going to tackle these issues. If you're a harmonica player, you know how easy it can be to get lost on our instrument. To help you solve this problem, I'm going to introduce you to a concept that I use quite often called looping. Today we're going to talk about looping. That was a very short loop. Now, a lot of you, when you think about looping, you think about those uh, special panels where you, you play a passage and you hit this little button and it repeats. And you play a little duet along with yourself. This is a different kind of looping. This is the kind of looping that we actually do. The reason why looping is important in practicing exercises is that suppose there's a part of an exercise that you're having trouble with. You just focus on that part. When you break it down using this idea of playing loops, it makes everything a lot more focused and it makes you a lot more focused. There's a form of target practice on the harmonica. One of the things about our instrument that's very unusual is that the layout is different in every octave. So if you try to go from hole one blow to hole two draw, it sounds like this. If you go from hole two draw to hole three blow, it sounds like that. It's the same note. And so the distances that we're moving physically are exactly the same between holes, except that the intervals, the musical distances are different. So sometimes it gives the illusion that when you move between one hole and the next, it's either further away or closer. So, feels a little further than because the intervals are so different. This is a, a perfect fifth and this is a unison. The exercise that I'm going to focus on today is R, two exercises, of the single stroke rolls. So this exercise, which I like to call target practice, it moves from one hole to the next while changing breath direction. So one blow, two draw, three blow, four draw, etc., etc., etc. So if you loop a certain part of this exercise, like let's say the just the first four holes, one, two, three, four, and then go back down. And you hear that's in a rhythm of three or six. One, two, three, one, two, three, or one, two, three, four, five, six. So now you see the principle of looping. First, you go over the pattern slowly and get the sound of it in your head. And you can gradually increase the speed. And then we take the same pattern and move it up the harmonica in these little modules. So the next time we do it, it's going to be starting on hole two blow. Two blow, three draw, four blow, five draw, four blow, three, three draw. It's a mind bender even for me. And you can repeat these twice, three times, or four times. So let's see what it sounds like if I do from holes one to four and holes two to five, repeating each one three times. Ready? Here we go. You see, I'm tapping my foot, keeping time. It's really important to do these in rhythm, to be consistent, so that you pick a very conservative rhythm where you think that you're going to be comfortable. Now I'm going to just repeat it two times. In other words, just repeat it once, play it twice. And you also notice that I'm accenting the first and last note of each loop. So I, I'll do it a little more exaggerated for you this time. And then you can 
take this and move it up the whole harmonica from three to six. First outline it slowly to get the sound of it in your head. Then from four to seven. And then from five to eight. Each one of them has a totally different sound. Some of them sound more like music. And then from six to nine. And then from seven to 10. Seven, eight, nine, ten, like that. And then we do it back down. So instead of that back down from 10 now, why don't I just do it back down from seven? Seven below. And then from six. Six, five, four, three, four, five. Try this. And then try the next exercise where it reverses and starts on the draw. And this sounds totally different from starting these things on the blow, which is why I, <laughs> I have these different exercises in the book. So now one, two, three, four is gonna be draw, blow, draw, blow. One draw, two blow, three draw, four blow. Totally different from but same four holes. And you take that pattern and move it up the harmonica from two. Again, it's in a rhythm of three, just a four hole module. And then from three. Three, four, five, six, five, four, and then from four. the harmonica and come all the way back down in these little modules and then try playing it from holes one to ten and the big thing about this is that it gives you a mental map of the harmonica in a really uh, deep way it gets ingrained in your head because these are things we really don't stop and think about most of the time when we're playing this makes you really aware of the distances between the notes on the instrument and makes you into a much more accurate player.